Hey, what is up guys? Gemini Jets 10 here, and I am back with another Gemini Jets airport update of Austin Zeppelin International Airport. So a couple things have changed uh, since the last update. I completed the taxiways on the... Uh, I completed the taxiways over by the freight center and the hangars, and I completed all the gates on the south side of the sea concourse. Um, there's 10 gates, and there's also a taxiway that runs along there. Other than that, the only other thing that's changed is I found an extra Gemini jet bridge, so I glued that onto the B concourse, which is right here on the Delta gate on the far end of the terminal. So that's just the gate right there. That's uh, new. And other than that, nothing's really new. Uh, this is a subscriber route update, and this airport update takes place quite late at night, uh, between 9 and 10 p.m. So there's... Most of the international flights are getting ready to depart. A couple are going to sit until tomorrow morning. Also, a new regional terminal has opened up, and we will get to that later. So, um, I guess we'll start down here at the A concourse of Terminal 1 with an Etihad Boeing 777-300ER. It arrived about three hours ago from Abu Dhabi after finishing unloading. Uh, it's going to sit here until tomorrow morning. And at about 6, it's going to load up and head back out to Abu Dhabi. Pushing back from Alpha 2, we have an Air Canada Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner. This aircraft is pushing back, going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson. Uh, if you all saw the last update, you know Emirates and KLM both fly A330s at night and in the morning. So right here we have a KLM Airbus A330-200. Uh, in about 10 minutes or so, it's going to push back for Amsterdam, just getting some last-minute food on board. Alpha 4, we have an Emirates Airbus A330-200, gonna just hard stand overnight at the gate, and in the morning, at about 5 or 6, it's going to load up and head back out to Dubai via Paris. It came in from Dubai via Paris. Uh... And Qantas, Virgin Atlantic, and Qantas and Virgin Atlantic do not have uh, night flights. They have a flight in the, they have two daily flights: a flight in the morning and a flight in the afternoon. And uh, Emirates uses Virgin Atlantic gates, Virgin Atlantic's gate at night. Pushing back from Alpha Seven, we have or er, Bravo Two, sorry, we have a British Airways Airbus A three eight eight hundred. Uh, British Airways is the only airline that flies an A380 in to the airport at night so far. They're most likely going to downgrade that route, uh, kind of a hint to a new model that may be coming soon. Yeah, again, they're most likely going to downgrade this route, but this Airbus A380 is pushing back for London Heathrow. Alpha 8 is empty, or Bravo 2, sorry, or Bravo 3. God, I'm mixing up here. American Airlines, Boeing 777-200ER. Um... Just is about is awaiting pushback or is awaiting a pushback tug. Uh, all of the tugs at the this side of the terminal are u being used right now, so it's awaiting a pushback tug. Going to be doing a night flight out to Tokyo Narita. Bravo Five. We have a American Airlines Boeing Triple Seven Three Hundred ER. It's awaiting push. It began its pushback. It barely just began its pushback and then stopped because the Air Canada. Dreamliner was pushing back, but this aircraft is going to push back as soon as Air Canada taxis out. Uh, this aircraft is going to be heading out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Delta Airbus A330-300, getting some last minute food on board and passengers, and in about 10 or 15 minutes going to be heading out to Amsterdam Schiphol in, Kim, uh, in competition with KLM. Taxing down Bravo, we have an American. I'm actually gonna move my camera here. Going to try to get a better view. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. But right here, taxing down Bravo, we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This aircraft is going to pull into Ch Charlie 8. Uh, it came in from New York Tri-State International Airport, or AC Aviation's airport, and it will head back out there later. Right here, uh, getting heavily serviced. Well, it looks like it's getting heavily serviced. It's getting passengers through the forward and rear door, and there's three buses. 
Let's get baggage on board. It's the American 757-200. Uh, this aircraft is going to be making a flight out to Seattle, Tacoma, or SeaTac. Right here we have a Delta 7 or er, 737. Right here we have a Delta MD90, MD88. No, I forgot the aircraft. It's an MD88. Yeah, it's an MD88. Going to be heading out to Somerset County International Airport or Nick Glynos's airport. Lost my route sheet, guys. Got to print a new one off. So sorry if I stumble over myself. Empty gate. Empty Delta gate, I should say. United 737-900ER in the Eco Skies Library. Came in from Bercy Augustine International Airport or Bercy's Aviation and Sirens Airport. Legion MD83 getting baggage and passengers getting baggage and passengers on board for Burlington, Central Carolina, or Citrus Aviation's Airport. Right here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in Canyon Blue. Uh, just getting some last-minute passengers on board through the stair truck and bus. Going to be heading out to Central Texas International Airport or Gemini Jets 1975's airport. I actually just found my route sheet, guys. Um, UPS Boeing 747-400 taxiing down taxiway Charlie, uh, which runs by this side of the terminal. And then this taxiway, which leads here to the ramps, and then the taxiway that leads by the cargo uh, ramps is Echo. But yeah, uh, right here we have a UPS Boeing 747-400 about to pull into cargo ramp 2. Uh, came in from Louisville, and from there it came from Anchorage. From Anchorage it originated all the way in Bangkok, Thailand. Alright, let's focus here. Right here we have a Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 library. This aircraft, I believe, is going to Northern Maine. International Airport, yep, or Delta Flyer 24 Leidens Airport. And right here, uh, an aircraft that you all have not seen in a while, we have an American Airlines Boeing MD-87. This aircraft has came out of retirement very shortly, and it is a charter for the University of Texas girls basketball team. Uh, this aircraft is going to be making a flight out to Los Angeles. Uh, for the again for the UT girls basketball team to play a game for against uh, UCLA, uh, I don't know. Just wanted to incorporate that aircraft in. Right here, pushing back from one of the ramps. Um, if you guys did not know, I think I said this, but the these areas, if there's a narrow body aircraft at one of the ramps, it can be configured to house, I believe it is seven narrow body aircraft in the ramps. So seven narrow body or two wide body. So right here, uh, why won't you focus? There you go. Much better. So right here we have a Delta Boeing 737-800. It is being pushed back from the ramp over here. And it will be towed over to one of the uh, Seagates. This aircraft's going to be making a flight out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson. And then coming over here to the new regional terminal, which has opened over here, um, three airlines will be sharing this terminal. Delta Connection, when I get a Delta Connection models, um, Delta will be the hub airline at AZIA. American is a focus airline, and United just has a couple of flights here. So, the Express Terminal is shared by three airlines, Delta Connection, United Express, and American Eagle all share this terminal. Um, it's kind of just an expansion of the Sea Concourse, although I'm going to call it... Wow, what is... There we go. It's, yeah, kind of just an expansion of the Sea Concourse. Uh, but it is the Express Terminal. All uh, Express flights will depart. So right here we have the American Eagle CRJ200. By the way, I did find this model, guys. I know last update I lost it. Turned out it fell off my shelf, uh, where I keep all my models, and broke, but I fixed it, so, yeah. Anyways, right here we have an American Eagle CRJ200. This aircraft's going to, be, going to be making a short flight down to Brownsville. And right here we have the United Embraer ERJ145. Came in earlier from Central Florida International Airport, or Aviation Footballers Airport. And at about 1 in the morning, it's going to load up and head back out there. 
So guys, I believe that pretty much wraps. Oh, I forgot one more aircraft uh, over here in the hangars. Uh, here in the narrowbody hangar, we have an American Airlines Airbus A319. Uh, this aircraft is just getting some routine maintenance done tonight and tomorrow morning. Going to be making a flight out to Phoenix. So we wind off here uh, with the UPS Boeing 747-400. So, again guys, I know I say it all the time, most likely next update, every gate at all the terminals will be done, so be prepared for that, hopefully. Um, I've been just procrastinating with it, but yeah. So thank you all so very much for watching, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this airport update. Most likely next airport update will be a non-subscriber routes airport update, unless the last update was a non-subscriber routes. If not, then the next update should be subscriber routes. Yeah. Anyways, really hope you guys all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more updates. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I always try to reply to comments if you all leave them. So yeah, talk to you guys all later. Have a great day. And for those who like NASCAR, happy Daytona Day because today is Daytona Day. But yeah, uh, talk to you guys all later. Goodbye.